What's going on everyone? This is Zach here with another TCG unboxing. Now I said I didn't pick up the Vaporeon Premium Collection, but did you think we were done with Evolutions? Or not. Today we do have our Leafeon V-Star Special Collection. It's special here because V-Stars technically aren't out yet. So there is a Leafeon and Glaceon box. That is the first V-Stars you can get. I did have an option of both. And I told the girl Burns and all, we'll pick one. Pick whichever one you want it. She went with Leafeon over Glaceon, so let me know if she was right with that pick in the comments down below. But we are going to jump into it. You get a big oversized card. You get a V and a V Star, not a V Max. I might slip that up a couple of times. But we got a Darkness Ablaze, a Vivid Voltage, and a 3-pack to go with it. So let's get this stuff unboxed and see what we can pull. If you guys enjoy this, do not forget to like and subscribe, but let's jump into it. Okay, so we have just about everything opened up. And the first thing I want to go over is the Weather Trio 2-pack. It comes with a Vivid Voltage and a Fusion Strike. Uh, and also these promos. I know I opened it up before, but I don't think I opened it up as a video. So we get a Tornadus. We get a Thunderous. And we get a Landorus. Which genie is your favorite? I've been leaning more towards the Thundee with competitive play. You also get a big old Blastoids coin. And we have our, from our blisters, we have a Darkness Ablaze and a Vivid Voltage. Excited to check those out. So we have two Vivid Voltage. And then we have the Leafeon V-Star box. You get an oversized card. So it comes with Leaf Guard and then V-Star Power, which is an ability. So unlike the V-Max moves, you have a V-Star. You can only use one V-Star in one game. So I wonder if you can use a V-Star and V-Max move in one game. But... We have the oversized card, which I kind of like the white border. I'm not going to lie. I think it's going to look really good on some cards. You're going to see more of these V cards, like the Leafeon V and the Leafeon V star right there. You're going to definitely see more of those in the newest set that's coming out, which will be Brilliant Stars. Obviously, V star, Brilliant Stars, which we do have a Pokemon Center ETB pre-ordered. So you will see a video of that when it's on the channel. You get the little V-Star thing. Uh, I don't play the game, so this is a paperweight for me, but it's pretty cool. And in the box pack-wise, you have a Chilling Rain, two Evolving Sky, and two Fusion Strikes. So let me know what you think. Do you think this is worth the money? But we're gonna put it all together. We're gonna put all the packs together and get that unboxed in just a moment. And here is the code card. If you want that Leafeon V-Star Special Collection, you can get it, because I don't want it. But let's get these packs open and see what we can pull. Okay, so just like our previous videos, we are going to start with the oldest packs and work our way up. We're going to start out with that Darkness Ablaze. And once again, still looking for that Rillaboom. I've got the Charizard, still looking for that Rillaboom. There's the code card for you. Just take one. Remember, if you are, if this video just dropped, just grab one. Got the water type energy, Combustion, Peepatar, Corvusquire, Skitty, Jigglypuff, Dunsparce, Clink, Marini, Kufint, and a Manetric with a beautiful background. What is that supposed to be? I don't know. Looks cool though. Love it. On to the Vivid Voltage. I don't care what we pull. As long as it's not an Asia Slash, a Togekiss, or an Orbeetle. But there is our Vivid Voltage. We'll do our one, two, three, four from the back. And Electric Type Energy. Is that some Chunk of Chew Luck? A Swellow? Leak Staff? Tremillion, C Dot, Electrike to go with that Manetric, Clefairy, Famfi, Yanma, Quagsire. You gotta love Quagsire. Look at that face. And. <laughs> 
when you pull two quagsires out of the same pack, they're just like, what? I thought that was funny. I don't know about you, but I thought that was funny. On to the next Vivid Voltage. Can we get another Quagsire? Can we get that last Vivid Voltage Quagsire luck? Let's see. There is the code card for you. We'll do our one, two, three, four from the back. We have our Steel Type Energy, Winden Stadium, Zeb Stryka, Excadrill, Pharaoh Seed, Roly, Sandial, Wilmer, Weedle, Beldum, and a Colossal V Max. Okay, I think I have this one, but I and I have the Colossal Gold card, but I mean, as a VGC player, you kind of got to show love to Colossal, you know. Uh, next up is Chilling Rain. Towards these uh, newer sets, I'm really just looking to pull some cool alternative arts. Other than that, there's nothing I'm really going after, especially with no battle styles. Haven't seen a lot of battle styles. This is the third time I'm saying that in the last three TCG videos, but I want my Sleepy Tyranitar. Whirlipede, Calarinia Mask, Coughing, Shuppip, Squovit, Spiel, Haunter Reverse, and a Cabalion Hollow. Nice. Very serious looking card. I love the background on that, that's beautiful. Next up, we got Evolving Skies. We're halfway through, we're into Evolving Skies. We got two Evolving Skies and two Fusion Strikes. So if you haven't already, don't forget to like the video. Here is your Evolving Skies code card. We'll do our one, two, three, four from the back. Now I'm not gonna lie, we did get three hits out of the other evolution boxes so we did add some extra packs so that's probably going to skew it a little but i wouldn't mind doing more than three hits dino punkaboo carvana gossifler falafi reverse and a raihan full art okay i know a lot of people are a big fan of raihan you gotta love his uh dragon hoodie I loved the fact that when you got into the games, he made you do double battles, you know, because I like to play the VGC. Who was your favorite gym leader in the Sword and Shield games? But let's jump into our last pack. So we're technically on three hits, but like I said, we added more cards to this, so... That's going to skew it a little. Can we keep going? We got our electric type energy, Tentacruel, Herdier, Aroma Lady, Bagon, Litleo, Lotad, Teddy Ursa, Crygonal, Dino Reverse, and our cute little Ampharos Regular Rare. Amphros, one of my Gen 2 favorites. Not as big as a favorite as a Tyranitar, but it definitely stayed on my team longer because you got Mary before you got Lavatar. So, got some Gen 2 love for Ampharos there. We're going to go ahead and open up our first Fusion Strike. And this is the first one with the, with the new codes. So, they've been going the wrong way recently. But let's see. Fire type, Elsa Sparkle, Beware the Bear, Skaters Park, Galarian Daramaka, Ndidi, Growlithe, Phalanx, Morpico, Latias Reverse, beautiful card, and a Vika Volt regular rare. All right. I'm, st I'm still opening. Like, I've opened two ETBs and a decent amount of packs and I'm still getting like common cards 
from Fusion Strikes that I'm like, oh man, I haven't seen that. And of course, like I haven't seen a lot of the more the the rarer cards because it's such a huge set. Adventurer's Discovery, like I've I've never seen that card. That is an uncommon card. Schoolgirl, Shinx, Shelmet, Drillbur, Bunnelby, Mudkip. Heard you liked them. Snom and a Cinder Ace V. Nice. I'm guessing they brought the the starters back because of their Gigantamax forms that came out in the DLC. Because I want to say that their first VMAX cards did not focus around uh, the Gigantamax forms at all. But this is our last pack. Can we get some last pack luck? There is your code card for you. You can keep that. One, two, three, four. And if you haven't already, do not forget to like and subscribe. We got a fighting type energy. Good old Metapod, VIP Battle Pass, Togi Demaru, Gumi, I got this this time. Joe from Serebii updated the page for the pronunciations. And I was going to do a video. Let me know what you think about this. I was going to do a video talking about all the names that I, I either know I say wrong or have been saying wrong on accident. So this is Arrokuda. Arrokuda. Like Arrow and Barracuda. I don't know why, but if you've watched any of my TCG videos before, you have seen me not be able to say that name at all. I have no clue why. I just stare at it and my brain goes, mm-mm. Geodude, Sizzlepede, Blissey Reverse, and a Senta Scorch to go with that Sizzlepede. But that's not too bad. I think we got four hits overall out of nine packs. Almost a 50% pull rate. Honestly, when it comes to these boxes, if I if you go over 40%, I feel like it was a good box. I've definitely had boxes. Uh, more than one box, actually. And some ETBs where they were all green code cards. But let's go ahead and check out our recap and see what we got out of this. The one thing I don't like about these is look at that. Like, look at that bentness. But lots of legendary hollows. We got the Landorus. We got the Thunderous. We got the Tornadus. All the genies. Our Cinderace V with Blaze Kick. Our Raihan. Our Cabalion Hollow. Colossal VMAX. And the big pulls of this box. The reason why you buy the box. The Leafeon V and the Leafeon V Star. So what do you think about V Star? Do you think those cards are cool? I don't know how I, how I feel about the whole big red bar in the middle of all of them. Telling the ability. Uh, especially if you get like an alternative art. And there's just like a big bar there. I think that's going to distract our take away a little from the art but i do like that silver border let me know what you think in the comments down below and once again if you haven't already do not forget to like and subscribe if you are interested in series 12 vgc legends rcs playthrough or some more tcg this might be the channel for you but until next time i'm zach we'll see everyone later